Hello and welcome to A Vetting Path 7. Today is day 140 of our free-to-play farming guide. If you have not already, please hit the subscribe button, like the video, hit the notification bell. But we also do have merch now, so please check that out in the description down below. You can also see a little bit of it down um, up in the top left corner of the video. So check that out, give it a chance, you know, see what's over there. If there's anything that is not there that is a merch item that you would like to have, just comment down below, let me know what you would be interested in, and I'll see if I can get it on the store. With that out of the way, I'm trying to think if there's anything Star Wars to talk about. And I don't think there's much Star Wars to talk about right now. I feel like I've covered a lot of it the past couple days with... Uh, Talking about Bad Batch a lot last week, talking about Mandalorian on Wednesday, talking about uh, Bad Batch on Thursday. It kind of seems like I've covered the bases with the new Star Wars for right now. Um, I had a fun time last night. Got together with a group of four other friends, and we played three... About maybe three hours of Overwatch. And the beginning of it went like normal. It went about two hours of just straight losing. Which was kind of normal for us. Um, we play a lot of Overwatch. But I also feel like we're not. As a group we're not very good. And as a group we're still trying to find out. The best way of who's best at what roles. Um, between support damage and tank. Um, who is best at which characters in those roles and we're still learning the strategy of when the enemy team changes a, champ a character who do we need to change to and how can we adapt because we can have some really good first half of the game we can do really well the first half of the match and then the enemy team adapts and we don't change and so then they got the counters to our picks and we fall apart but after those first two hours we started doing better. We went on like a seven game win streak for like the next hour. It was so fun. It was the first time in a while we've had a win streak. So it was really nice to do that. Um, but yeah, Overwatch was, is, is a fun game to play with the friends. Um, we try and be relaxed about it, but at, some, at certain points we start taking it seriously. Um, all three accounts are doing well. Um, the for Grand Arena, the main account lost. The alt account and the YouTube account won. So that's not too bad. Two out of three for my accounts to win Grand Arena, I could be happy about that. Now this is the account we're going up against on the YouTube account, which I'm pretty happy about because this is a 400 GP account, and we're at what are we at? I'm gonna reset us real quick. Okay, so we're at 500 GP. So we are the higher GP account in this matchup. And so it's a pr and it's even then it's still a pretty even matchup. Um now they have a good Jedi team. I mean we can see they have a good Jedi team. They have a first order team. And they have a few rebels. And other than that, that's it. Now if they go with the standard play they're going to put crap on their defense. Maybe one good team in the top wall, probably probably first order on the top wall, and crap on the bottom walls. And keep their Jedi for offense. Which would make sense and be a decent play. And let's see, their ships, their ships are crap. I mean, they're probably going to put crap on defense and take their three good ships for offense. That's probably what they're going to do. So I think that we can win this. I think that we can win this. How can we win this? Now we know my Rebels hold. They got three holds last game. They'll probably get three holds again. I would hope they're going to get three holds again. How can I edit my defense to be a better defense. Can I even do that? I don't really think I can.
I mean, I'm pr I don't expect to use Akbar. But if I take Akbar, because what is his? Only rebel allies. Whenever an ally uses an ability that isn't an attack, they call a random ally to assist. I can use that to my advantage and put the two geos right there. Get a few extra assists. Maybe have a bit better of a front wall defense. Maybe get an even extra hold on here and get take a few more banners away from them. But y'all can let me know. What do y'all think about that in the comments below? I'll see your comments today in time to change anything if needed. I think I'm already joined in on this. Yes, I am. So, Grand Arena went well Wednesday night. Grand Arena opens up again tonight. I'm going to be busy at least for a little while. I should get home. I might be able to go live again tonight for Grand Arena. So watch out in the Discord, and I'll try and make a post, a community post on YouTube to announce when I go live or getting ready to go live. Um, so pay attention. Make sure you have your notification bell turned on. Now, when I go live, I do, do, I do that on Twitch. So if... You are not following me on Twitch. Head over to Twitch. Look it up. I believe it's AvengingPath underscore seven. Um, there should also be a link on my YouTube page or in the comment in the description down below. Um, follow me over there so that way you can get notified when I go live on Twitch over there. Oh, nice! Two sets of uh, Ewok shards. Okay, let's see. I think I, I started buying Bodhi and K2SO <clears throat> to start making sure I have good Rebel fleet, Rebel characters so that it, when I'm ready and at some point, we can have a good Rebel fleet to go after the, not the Millennium Falcon, to go after the Chimera. That's what it's called, the Chimera. So I started kind of early prepping for that. Because um, that's the best thing about these shard stores is you can start buying stuff slowly over time. Now I have been buying some negotiator shards. Hopefully by the time I'm not able to buy them I'll be earning more get twos. don't think there's anything specific in here I need to buy now so I'll probably just let that save up um head over to my community page Head over to the community page and check out my, I believe I had three posts on there now. I believe I have Mace Windu, Ahsoka, and Qui-Gon. Give me a bad description of them. It doesn't have to be something big. It can just be like a bad word. Just Not a bad word, but just one word that is not really the best description, but does describe the character. Um. So give me that over there. I'm going to try and collect a good few of those and try and make a video of it. Um. Possibly, I'm going to try and reach out to either my brother or a friend and try and get them to guess the Star Wars character off of a bad description of them. And, you know, see how that goes, see if that works out well. Um, try and try and do something with that, we'll see. But I'm going to look at it. So uh, head over there and uh, give me, you know, comment over there. Let me know your thoughts on that, on, you know... Right now, it's Qui-Gon, Mace Windu, and Ahsoka. I'll try and think up another character to add in there later today. Let's see. But here are the ships right now. Now, the Geo ships are pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the Geo ships. I just got to finish out Sunfax ship. Um, I'm pretty happy with the ships. But I think we'll end it there. I'm not sure what else to do. Do. I think that's pretty much all of my uh, dailies. With that, y'all have a great day. Let me know down in the comments below what y'all think and uh, what are y'all looking forward to in The Mandalorian after the first episode. Uh, what are you looking forward to? What are your theories and guesses on what's to come? 
With that, y'all have a great day, and may the Force be with you.